Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn where it's been a while since I've played this game or uploaded a video so again I apologize for that even though I do that all the time um, but yes no I'm also experimenting with my commentary audio a little bit uh, with some ways to kind of reduce um, popping or uh, excessive high-pitched screaming annoyances um, so let me know if it's if it's something if it's something weird I when I messed with it earlier uh, it seemed fine like when I tested it out it seemed fine but let me know if it's too weird um, but yeah so last time we were here I was having a cow an absolute absolute conniption and now we gotta go we gotta go place this game is so freaking pretty her hair is so many like the shades of red. Sobek oh! couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. <laughs> Do you really have wow. any idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Wait, what the heck, guy? You gotta start at the Sevens. basics. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less. Is trivial. he Bayuk? Um. Oh, thank you. My friend's been playing Spider-Man. He's using my PlayStation 4. Okay, so I'm sorry I skipped that first part. I thought when I saw it, it looked like one of those things I could rappel down, and I thought I might have to jump into it. So, like, I jumped into it, but then we just jumped into this cutscene instead. I was like, oh, okay, whoopsie-daisy. Um, uh, if I'm emotional, he's going to call me out on it, but at the same time, I'm not going to let some man not me let me not be emotional about something. This is not some for her it's not like some world saving overarching thing she just wants to know what's up with her mom like that's all she wants to know she's not like in this to save the world she's she wasn't even in this to save her tribe like the tribe didn't do anything for her you know ever really and she just wants to know where she belongs in the world and acting acting like that's trivial is really dumb on anderson's part who isn't Anderson? Anderson wouldn't do that. But no, I mean, I get, what, I get what that guy's coming from, too. But I'm not gonna play his game with this. You have no idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobeck woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. What? The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. <sighs> you just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. Ah! Uh, why? If you just keep <laughs> away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Why do you gotta Maybe be an a-hole? you realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? Yeah, stop about? lording it over me, man. You chased a personal riddle. Exactly. A crowd of larger That's mysteries. exactly what I did. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go and get He's the only answer? using me because I get the answers. Of course I am. 
Then why are you still standing here? Because you're- ah! I hate people like this! <laughs> They're so annoying! Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. You're wasting my time! You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their Also, danger. get out of my head! That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Now, if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh, no. I'm just getting started. Exactly! Free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head. And you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. <laughs> so quit complaining and answer my questions. She's a uh... very well. Oh yeah, Listen. man. Oh yeah, you don't mess with Aloy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How's that possible? Get out of my focus. Every focus emits a signal, a voice that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. Okay, this is pretty big, though. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... Complicated. Was he a programmer? So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. He's Horus! That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It didn't seem like a person or a machine more like a phantom with a terrible voice all that's certain is that he wants you dead I wonder what it is because of my connection to elizabeth has to be hades is using the eclipse to resurrect feral robots but if elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago if she made special weapons maybe hades is worried i'll do the same thing in some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called His life's probably pretty cool. Been developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But they were Yeah, yeah, lots them. of problems. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. It's a nice life, exactly as I but see. lonely. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. Okay, because, I mean, he's like, you gotta make this personal. It's like, I gotta know what the intentions are of the people inside my head, man. <laughs> like, you're obviously trying to get information from me that you don't have access to because you don't have, like, the right genetic markers or whatever. I don't know. So, I need to know what your intentions are. 
Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. We? I can't Who, wait. Who's we? Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Oh yeah, girl, you tell him. Mm-hmm. Don't let well, no man talk to you. will be a lot faster than getting up here. Talk to you about like that. US Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Uh, hell yeah. Okay. Ooh, looks like I'm in a ship. Okay. Only have one skill point. Oh, there's so many quests to do, but I want to know. I want to know. Oh, is it? Okay, now it's active. Um, can I zoom? Holy cow, 12 floors. Alright, uh, do I have to? Okay. I'm just gonna go all the way down. Please let me go all the way down. I don't want to have to... Oh, yes. Okay, come on, we can do it. Woohoo, it's so scary. Snow's easing. Shake the numbness out. Okay, as we get lower. Rappel down like that takes a lot of guts. Let me just jump off and maybe miss. Hey, rats are still alive. Aren't I actually supposed to, uh... Have... Do I need rats? I think I need tiny meat. Or something. Yeah. Extreme target practice. I save this for later. Eat those tiny meats. Okay, map now. Okay. I have to go if I walk, I have to go through an area that I haven't been to before. Haven't been to this. I don't know if this is this might be too high a level for me. With um Let's see, is that the, it's the cauldron symbol, right? Yeah, okay. So the symbol is that, and my notebook would, uh, okay. Oh, I already did it? Oh, no, 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 it was slightly different, it was slightly different, okay. Okay, um... Those, what about you? I don't have that one unlocked yet. That's a rover ride. Sigma! <gasps> Ooh, it includes a sawtooth. I could override a sawtooth if I could make it through that. It might be a bit too much for me though. I mean, the Ostrom, you said the Ostrom have a name for it, but it's near-ish to the Banook. That one's done! Right? Right? It, I mean, it said uh, kill the bandits, but I did that. Oh, but it's checkmark. Okay. Okay, I was like... <laughs> oh, I should do the hunting grounds, too. I should! I should do it! Maybe we'll stop off at this cauldron. And 
I kind of want to get this tall neck. Uh, but I want to figure out the story. Let's do the story. Alright, after this, we'll do some side quests. Can't do the main mission too fast, even though Assassin's Creed Odyssey is coming, and I don't have I don't have time to play. Like I don't have the space to play if I'm playing two big games already. I'm only like maybe halfway, not even half. I'm not even halfway through either one of these games that I'm already playing. So I'm gonna have to. It's already. I played a ton of Assassin's Creed Origins today and yesterday. I'm just gonna have to play a ton of Horizon Zero Dawn and try to get it all done before. But then again, like, I won't have the recordings done, so, by any means. Anyway, this is all just me thinking out loud because these loading screens are forever long. We need to travel all the way across the map! Okay. How do we run? Nope. Okay. Oh, I should. Okay. Should be good. I probably should have done some side quests. Oh well. Like, it makes sense to do side quests whenever you have to go like, across large swaths of land, you know? Where's the campfire? Hmm. I mean, I already... That one I already did, so I didn't, I didn't just discover it. Like, I already... Knew about it. <laughs> Trying to avoid these things is so scary. Yeah, I see you saying I should go that way, but game, you're leading me astray. Okay, good. I was like, I just realized I hadn't checked my setup to see if I was actually recording the audio in a while, and I was gonna cry if it uh, had failed me. Oh, yeah, 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 because we get to go. Oh my gosh, that's like a giant octopus. The metal devil. So, this is a Horus beat. This is a Horus thing, also. Hi, are you friendly? You're not friendly. Not friendly. Not friendly. No. You are fast. Holy cow, look at that guy. Ow. Oh my gosh, you're still alive? I was pressing the wrong buttons for a second. Can I loot you? Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, people are after this area, apparently. At least got too much already. Oh, that's right. I didn't. Uh, how do I 
resource. I need a boar skin. Oh, that's all I need is a boar skin? Bummer. Okay. Is it like, it's like circling a building. Like how in the world did they manage to destroy an army of machines that could like recreate no matter what? Like, I'm, I'm honestly amazed and- That better not be one of ours. Oh, hi. Eyes on me! Oh, oh, hello! These are something special. I don't think the metal flowers, yeah. Oh, I'm completely visible right now. You're not gonna like this. I'm just hoping nothing else comes to find me. Wait. I can't search it? All right. Okay. I was getting confused by the multiple markers. Grave hoard. What kind of grave hoard? I think is uh no okay i know photo mode in assassin's creed odyssey is uh down with both like the left and right stick but i don't know how it works in this game no oh, i'm so mad i wish i could find a boar inventory resources Ancient wreath. I think that one's a bit more <sighs> eclipse. I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own. Carry on. They've got the corruption Thanks. going. On my own, all right. Let's maybe fire. Well, first. Oh, I may have made it too tall. We'll be okay. Um. Just to protect myself. When I start firing arrows. Oh. 
I was like, that looks funny. I can get out of this. Oh, and... I actually can't see them. See if I can't maybe... What? Look at those arrows like flying off in weird directions. myself a nice little oh I didn't pick up the right thing made myself a nice little home nobody came to visit it's fine I don't mind making my life easier it's fine should have brought a cart Ugh. you ain't joking should have brought a cart I feel like that's not something that they would say back in the day but or, I guess, in the future, when they don't have shopping malls and shopping carts. But I'm not going to judge too hard. Okay, this is uber creepy. I love that we're here at night. It's perfect timing. Like, it just makes it extra creepy. The grave horde. And the shadow of a metal devil. Great. Oh my gosh. This thing's huge. Was it supposed to look? No, it weren't supposed to even look like this. It was just supposed to be like a central cylindrical thing, I think. Sort of. It sounds like it's like moving. Oh my gosh. Are there people? Is it below me? Wait, wait, wait. Snowfall. Getting colder. We went from one cold place to another cold place. Just two different sides. This thing is insane. Could you imagine having created this? Or, or something that could become this? Like seeing it become something even bigger than what you ever imagined it could be? And that you single-handedly brought about the end of the world? Yeah, Ted. I'm talking to you. I think his name was Ted. Where is it? Is it below me still? Where did I go? There's stuff going on in there. Wait a second. I feel like those things with eyes are not my friend. Okay, they're not my enemy. Look out below. Shh. Oh crap! Oh, they're inside too. From, uh... Oh my gosh, they're people! They're not eyeballs! They just shot a dead body! Okay, this was... Oh, there's real people in here! Oh my... And they didn't even notice me! You... 
You what? Can't hear you. Take a look around the room. Oh, these are soldiers. Say again, Lieutenant. I got some. Titan is through the defenses. Still on approach. Ah, a live one. And it's best. We've got no mobility in here. It'll punch right through us. We hold the hatch at all costs. Then push back out. A battle. Frozen in ice and time. Okay, geez, we're gonna find a a lot in here apparently. Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn. <laughs> Gallows humor. If this is really it. I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Grease for contact! Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? Yeah. Okay, so they, you know, did it with... I don't know. If you're gonna die, die, die on your own terms, I guess. Like, you can't always, like, do the terms of your own death. Like, as soldiers, you know you're, at any given time, you could die, right? Like, you're gonna be sent to your death at some point when you're in a war. Like, but, at least most likely, anyway. But, uh, you can kind of choose, I guess, how you go. You can, but even then, like, I mean, it'd be so hard, right? But... You can choose to be afraid, or you can choose to not be afraid, and, I mean, it's easy enough to say, but until you've actually been in a situation like that, you're, I don't know, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to be able to, to do what they did, to laugh in the face of death. It's something that I can only immensely respect, so. Not everybody can do it. Probably going to need it. Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. Is that what this is? I, uh... Let's see. Oh, we got another one. Killed in action. Does she have... But, like, there's no... I mean, no... I almost said no bones about it. That's, uh, kind of disrespectful. Oh, um... Am I supposed to search her, or what? Um... I don't know what I was going to say about that. I got distracted because it looks like I should be able to search her body. I don't know. There's no... When you're actually dying, like... You know that... You know that in a minute you can laugh as much as you want, but in a second, in a minute, and in any amount of time, you're going to be either hopefully obliterated as fast as possible, or you're going to be... You're going to die screaming. You know? Inbound, she was the one in charge. Base defense locks it down. We engage, sever the limbs, blast out the fountains. Another day in the life. Records are very close. Not gonna be on point. They were Marines, maybe? You getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. I'll keep going and find something interesting. We have no soul. Or he did at one point and he purposely like buried it, right? He's like, no, I'm too badly. Why? It's like saying there's something to search on their bodies, but... There isn't. They have been remarkably preserved, though. Because of the cold.
were they protecting? But they knew, right? They knew, like they they said, like you think this will be an, uh, you think we will be saved, you know? Like you think she'll finish this thing in time? Like they know, they know they're gonna die there. But when you know you're gonna die, I think in some ways you can you can choose how you're gonna, especially as a soldier. Like I don't know, you get training to, I don't know. I I would assume that you get training to like deal with the eventuality of your death. Whoa. Um. Okay. Wait. Weird. The lighting is weird in the game. Okay. I don't know if it's supposed to be lit up or it's supposed to be dark. I think it's supposed to be dark. Ooh, okay. Or light. Or dark. <laughs> I'm sorry, apparently my game is, uh, not doing great. It's supposed to be dark. I was thinking maybe there was a light source down here, like a stronger one, but I don't think there's supposed to be. Weird. Even people's, like, deaths have meaning. Like, there's a story to it. Like, you can recognize, like... I don't know, all anybody ever wants is to know that they won't be forgotten when they die, you know? I don't know. To know that their story will be heard in some way. It's a, it's a, it's a way of not being alone when you die, I think. Can we just, can we, can we do this? All these, jeez, yeah, wow. So far, I don't think we've encountered a machine that does, uh, water. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to climb over there. Uh. In we go. Come on, darling. Come on, please. Please? Are we gonna do this? Okay. Wow, I mean, I know that some of this could have happened, obviously probably happened, like, after. Oh, is this like one of those places that I found? where the soldiers slept. Like, the lodge in Mother's Heart, I guess. Oh, is this for soldiers, or is this like a civilian bunker? Oh, this was where they lived. Log. Third Battle of California Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific, and I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the Crazy 15th, but they'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, the sea was on fire. That stuff was pain. The first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. That bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland, back to the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. <sighs> the last time I was in California, I was five, six. The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s. Wow. Okay. This goes to show like what they had to do. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run onto it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burg to train Minutemen. It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like we know something they don't. I swear, the more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us, I'm not so sure. Wow, this is getting deep. <laughs> I mean, you have time as, like, a soldier to be like, hey, like, is this, I don't know, is this morally, what am I doing? 
I think they all knew that it was basically just a stalling. That there was there was gonna be no living after this. Oh, I think. Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded and enjoy your gaming. Oh, Okay, I thought it was gonna be porn. He's somebody's just playing video games. He or she. He's just playing some games. I mean, what, what? You can't just expect him to be like, oh, yes, we're gonna act like we're in war like this whole time. It's like. You gotta give, even in the middle of a war, you gotta give people a little bit of a break. You know, they need it, or otherwise they're gonna collapse. But I think I'm gonna have to call it here. It's getting kind of long. I do apologize. Uh, we're kind of in the middle of a thing, but um, I think we're gonna have to call it here. Um, but thank you all for joining me. Um, again, I guess after this, we'll be continuing on with the main quest in the next part. And then hopefully after that, get some side quests in before we get completely overwhelmed with just wanting to do main quest stuff the whole time. Because I can see, that's the problem, is I either get really consumed with wanting to do main quest stuff or all side quest stuff. I have a hard time finding a balance, but I usually try to two one it. But anyway, thank you all again for watching. I most definitely appreciate it and hope you're enjoying, and I hope to see you in the next one.